This is the battle that you've all been waiting for. Okay, not really, but some of you have. And today I'm going to put Luminar Neo's Noiseless AI versus On One Photo's No Noise AI. Now I developed a few categories in a scoring system out of five, one being the worst, five being the best, and the categories are ease of use, performance, features, results, and price. Round one, fight. So let's go ahead and start with this photo in Luminar Neo. And this was shot at ISO 3200. Now I'm not going to do any editing to it. It is a bit underexposed, but this demo is strictly just for noise reduction. So on the right, we're going to click on Noiseless AI. It's going to suggest middle, and we're going to go ahead and click that. Now personally, from all the images that I've tested out, in terms of performance, it takes about 20 to 25 seconds for these particular images that are around 45 megabytes. It could take longer with bigger RAW files or even with JPEGs, it might take less time. Now, if we see the default results here with the middle selection, we see that it does a really decent job, still retains some detail. Let's take a look at the background here. Now, if I do a before and after, you see a lot of the luminosity noise has been removed. Same thing with the background here, the before and there's an after. Now let's look at it at proper viewing distance. Here's a before. You can't really see the noise too much from this point, but if you look at the background, you'll be able to see it. And here's the after. So it does smoothen it out a little too much. So I probably would increase the details and sharpness just to get a bit more sharpness through. And I might even bring the luminosity denoise down just a little bit. The one quirk though I see with Neo, it does already apply some noise reduction prior to you bringing it in. So for example, if I bring down all these settings here and we zoom in, now we see a lot of the color noise here, right? Unlike before, we only saw luminosity noise. So I definitely would do some post-production after to get some of those details back. Now let's take a look at No Noise AI in On One Photo Raw. And we're going to go ahead and click No Noise AI and see how long it takes. So that took roughly under three seconds. So in terms of ease of use, pretty easy to use, obviously. In terms of performance, blows Neo out of the water. Under three seconds versus 20 to 25 seconds, pretty big difference. Now, if we look at the results here, we see a before and after. And as I mentioned with Neo, how it applies a color noise by default, you see that with On One Photo Raw, it doesn't do that. You basically start from scratch. So you get a true sense of the noise from the image you have. So let's do this before and after slider here. Let's do a before and after preview up here. There's a before, there's the after. But in this example, I give the edge to on one photo, mainly because of the sharpness here. Obviously we could make manual adjustments to this. Here we have our luminance, our details, and our color denoise options, as well as some sharpening here. I'm not sure if I mentioned it previously, but I find Luminar Neo's sharpening doesn't really work. Whereas on one photo, if I crank the sharpening up here, you can really see the difference it makes. If I do a before and after here, if we look at the fur, it's nice and sharp, good detail. So typically I would take this image, do some post-production to it, and you can always come back to it here and make adjustments after the fact. Unlike Neo, I still have the color denoise option here to make tweaks. Whereas with Neo, it's not available. You can use the standard denoise option in Neo, but I like that you can come back to your original settings and tweak it even more. So for round two, we're going to start in On One Photo Raw, and this time I'm going to make some small adjustments. First of all, the exposure is quite off here, so I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. Let's go one. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'm just going to adjust the color temperature to tungsten. It's probably not exact, but I'm just going to go with that, and we're going to do the same in Neo. 
Now I get each program renders things differently, but I did want to give you kind of a real world example for this round with some minor editing. So let's zoom in here and see what we're dealing with. Now, of course, increasing the exposure probably introduced more luminosity and color noise, which is fine. This is why we're doing this test. We see it all over here. We're going to go into noise and sharpening and apply no noise AI. Now we see the results, which is very pleasing. Let's do before and after. And let's go to our proper viewing distance. You really can't see the noise from this point. So maybe let's zoom in just a bit here. There we go. And if you look at the background, the face, especially do before and after. Really, really great job. Now switching to Neo, we're going to go into develop first and bring the exposure up by one, just like we did in on one photo. And then we're also going to change the white balance to tungsten. There we go. Let's go ahead into noiseless and use the recommended high. And I can meditate while I wait for this to render. Okay, so let's do a quick before and after. You see the original and the after. Now you do see some artifacting here. And again, we can get rid of that by increasing the luminosity, denoise, maybe even decreasing some of the detail. But uh, let's go from the normal viewing distance. Let's do before and after, before, after. And let's zoom in here, before, and after, before, and after. Pretty good and acceptable results, I would say. And for the final demo, we're going to use this picture that was shot in ISO 12800. Now, from this viewing distance, you can already see all the noise, especially in these areas here, on the walls, in the shadows, and it's even more evident as we zoom in here. So let's go ahead into noiseless AI. We use high and again, I'm going to meditate while I wait for this to process. <laughs> As we see the final result, you see here that it does a pretty decent job. Doesn't get rid of all of it. There's a very high ISO range, but again, for 12,800, really, really good job. Now let's do a final before and after, before, after, before and after. At a closer glance, we have a before, after, before, and after. Onto on one photo raw, here we see the original image. I'm gonna click on no noise AI and let it work its magic. So here's our before, here's our after, before and after. Let's go to about 50% before and after, before and after. And now at our standard viewing distance, we have our before, after, before, and after. Now let's talk about pricing. To purchase both of these programs with extensions, Luminar Neo would cost you roughly about $380 Canadian, whereas On One Photo comes out to about $340. With current pricing, you can get Luminar Neo for $230, and On One Photo would be $245, but I should also mention the pricing for On One Photo is for the upcoming 2023 version. Now for the standard subscription, Luminar Neo would cost around $130 and on one photo would be around $120. So how did the scores tally up? In terms of ease of use, I gave both Neo and on one photo a five. Very simple to use whether you're a beginner or an advanced editor. Performance, I gave Luminar Neo a three and I'm being very generous there. And on one photo, I gave it a five. The 20 to 25 second wait time for one image, nowadays that's a little too long. 
and even more so with multiple images. I did a test of five images and it took about eight seconds to copy over those settings to those five images. Whereas with on one photo, as you saw, it took under three seconds for an individual image. And when I applied the same settings over five images, it only took about three seconds to do five images. So in terms of performance, Neo has some catching up to do and some optimization. For features, they're both practically the same. You have luminosity and color denoise. I give Neo a four and on one a five. And I docked one point off Neo because that little color denoise quirk where it disappears after you do some editing. My frustration with Skylim is that they have quirkiness in their program and sometimes it just doesn't make sense. And also in terms of exporting, you can't export to DNG, whereas in on one photo you can. Maybe you want to archive raw files. Neo, you can only do TIFFs, but TIFF files are much better bigger than DNG files. Now in terms of results, I'm gonna give them both a five. I'm being very generous with Neo because from all the testing I've done, the results flip-flop. Like some images I've done in On One Photo look softer than it does in Neo and vice versa. But these differences aren't big enough for me to make a whole big deal about them. They both produce great results that I personally am pretty happy with. Now the score for pricing, I'm going to give a 4 to Neo, a 5 to On1. It is slightly cheaper than Neo, whether you're purchasing it, you know, at regular price or at special discount price. And the fact that you're getting everything that they're stating, whereas with Neo, if you purchase the extensions, you're only getting HDR merge, noiseless AI, and the rest are still to come. So On1 is ready to go. No surprises, no teases. With Luminar Neo, there's still some optimization to be done, some updates to what was already promised. And basically it's still a program that needs to mature quite a bit. So the final score for Luminar Neo is 21 points and On One Photo Raw has 25 points, which is the clear winner in this round. Now stick around for round two as I'm gonna put On One Photo Raw's No Noise AI versus Topaz Denoise AI. For now, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the results today. But until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.